Hey, good morning, everyone. I'm out here at the beach today enjoying God's creation, a beautiful day to look at the Lord's Prayer, to spend some time in prayer, whether you're at the beach or sitting at work and on your lunch break. Uh, we're going to look at the phrase, Thy kingdom come. So the Lord's Prayer starts off with, Our Father who art or who is in heaven, hallowed or holy, set apart be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We'll look at that last phrase tomorrow. But today we're going to look at the topic of thy kingdom come. So of this, uh, Diedrich Bonhoeffer says, In Jesus Christ, his followers have witnessed the kingdom of God breaking in on earth. They have seen Satan crushed and the powers of the world, sin and death broken. God is still exposed to suffering and strife. The little flock has a share in that tribulation. They stand under the sovereignty of God in the new righteousness, but in the midst of persecution. God grant that the kingdom of Jesus Christ may grow in his church on earth. God hasten the end of the kingdoms of this world and establish his own kingdom in power and glory. So we have to understand that the kingdom of God really starts with Jesus Christ. He is the kingdom and he makes us, his people, kingdom a kingdom of priests, as the book of Revelation says. So we are now priests unto God by worshiping him, by devoting our life to him. And God is continuing to build his kingdom, even though there's kingdoms of the world that are around us that seem powerful, that seem great. It's really the kingdom of God that will be the only lasting kingdom. Who would have thought during the time of Jesus saying this, that the Roman Empire, the greatest empire that perhaps we've ever seen, would topple and fall? No one, that would have seemed, you're gonna tell me a church? This guy, Jesus, with 12 men, would have a kingdom that would outlast Rome? That's a preposterous idea if there ever was one. And yet, the truth of the gospel, the truth of God, the truth of divine revelation, told us it was such. So we live now in America, and I don't know how long America will last. It could be hundreds of thousands of years. It's possible. But the point is that the kingdom of God will outlast all. And God has came, come to build that in his people. He starts it with Jesus Christ, to the apostles and continues to build that in us. And so, but as, even as Bonhoeffer says, that kingdom now isn't one where we're ruling and reigning yet. I mean, we are ruling and reigning with Christ as Christ is in the heavenlies, but that hasn't come to a, a finality or fruition yet. And so right now, the, we, we share in this tribulation on earth, but knowing that God's kingdom has been brought about through Christ and we have a hope of the consummation to come in Jesus Christ. So as we wait for his return, let us live out our lives as people of the kingdom in hope of the return of our king who will reward us openly for our obedience, for our love, for our devotion and faith ultimately that we have given in his name. Have a blessed day, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.